because it didn't fit any of the known classes of objects that astronomers are familiar with. And so when you're investigating something that no one's ever seen before, you know, you have to cross check everything, you have to keep double checking, but the excitement just continued to build. So it's producing a radio emission over a really wide range, and that means it's really powerful. We think that there's strong magnetic fields, and we think that it's an object that's rotating, and it's shooting out a beam of radiation, which is passing our line of sight like a lighthouse. Pulsars, which were discovered about 50 years ago, repeat every second or so, um, but this source is repeating really slowly. And that basically is very unusual because it means it shouldn't have enough energy to do what it's doing. So there must be some kind of interesting physics at play here. We do think that the Milky Way is absolutely full of slowly spinning objects, um, but we would never have expected to detect them like this. So it opens up a whole new window because if we can find more of these things, then we can understand how massive stars live and die. We can understand magnetic fields and like really extreme environments and probe extreme physics. So it's just a whole new avenue of discovery and I'm hoping to make more detections and really explore this uh, new space. When it's on, it's about as bright as the, the brightest source of the sky. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm glad that we found it, but I do think that there's never just one of something in astronomy, so we'll find a lot more. Mm -hmm.